Part of the reason for that might be that melatonin purchased, at, you can buy it over the counter in most areas of the world, even though it's a hormone, which is a little unusual, you can't just go into a pharmacy, at least in the US and buy testosterone or cortisol or estrogen, you need a prescription, but you can go buy melatonin for whatever reason. It's been shown many times, and now I'm um, borrowing from some items that were in Matt Walker's book, Why We Sleep, where he stated the there is evidence that in commercially available melatonin, the amount of melatonin has been tested in for various brands, and it can range anywhere from being 15% of what's listed on the bottle, okay? So if they list, this is 100 milligrams would be a tremendously high dose. Uh, it turns out it's only 15 milligrams in that particular pill or capsule or up to 400 times more than what's listed on the bottle. So it's completely unregulated. And so for those of you taking melatonin, I will discuss at the end of the podcast some other potential alternatives that are probably safer and don't have these issues.